Welcome back to another episode Sailing Ruby Rose from Ho Chi Minh City or Saigon. It just depends what you want to call it. I am on the hull number one of the Seawind 1370 and I am on the bonded carbon coat roof. It is huge and there is a lot to unpack in this episode. Keep watching, there's a lot to show you. So as is the norm, with our little walkthroughs, let us go into Hull 1 and see what they are doing. Apologies for the slightly radical haircut. I'm not sure they really understood what trim meant. Anyway, before we go on board, I'm going to show you something. They've changed the whole way that this bay is being set up. If you can see there, that big workbench, what that is, it's a carpentry station. And as hull number one moves more towards interior fit out and interior woodworking, there are carpenters everywhere. We've only just begun. Uh, a terrible joke that is. Anyway, on board, what have we got here? So now the carbon coat roof completely, completely 100% bonded on. It is all bonded. Now let's take a look at a drone shot of the coat roof. You can see exactly how big this is and the amount of solar that we are gonna get on here is impressive. So it is a huge, huge area. So we're looking at just shy of two kilowatts. Also, we've got a main sheet track that's been fitted and the roof, it's almost as large as the boat itself. So the mainsail will have a fantastic range of movement. The upwind performance of this boat is going to be actually pretty good. Also, you can start to see where the rain catchment system is actually getting its final touches. All super impressive. What we can see, they've actually got the positions of where all the lighting is going to go. So all the LED lights that are going to be in here, all in position. Something I do want to show you, that is where the line for the trifold door goes. This is all now coming into play. It's really, really looking good. What do we have here? What are these funky and beautiful looking accessories? For those of you, even if you don't know much about sailing, you can tell those are wheels. And so now that we've got wheels, we've now got helm stations and a lot of the cutouts have been done here. So let me just show you these cutouts. So we've got the cutouts for all the instrumentation here. So this is going to be like a, like a spaceship moving forward, moving back inside the saloon. I hope that now with the windows cut out, you can kind of get an idea of space here. We have got, let's just look at this, one big window. This is probably yeah, three foot by two foot. Those are the electronic operating windows. We then have the side windows and these huge, huge windows. And I would say we've sold a 60, uh, we sold a 1260. These are probably 50% bigger than the 1260 opening front windows. So there's a lot, a lot to see here, a lot going on. A huge amount of light, a huge, huge, huge amount of light here. And then the galley, can't really unpack that, but the galley is all now bonded in. And we've got a really good idea of what's going on galley-wise. Galley units are in. Now you've got your ash finish here. So as I'm facing forward, this is where your, your oven will be. Stove top's here. So either LPG induction combo or LPG stove top. Yep. Storage on this side. And then you've got the fridge over on this unit here. And then you've got your double sink. This is where you do your, you know, you do your washing and then you can rinse off on this side. Let's take a good dive down below, see what's going on in the port side hull. So let's head gently down these steps. Now, what we have here, the carpenters were in, I took a walk through before. All this carpentry is now being bonded in and this is a custom item. We are having a workstation there because we are not fortunate enough to be retired and able to just cruise around drinking gin. But this is a, an option, but we will have a desk here. But again, we get a really good sense of how much storage we are gonna have. One thing we also have now is a lot of this carpentry put in place for the bed. So again, you get a really good idea of exactly what sort of space you're gonna get. Opening hatches up there. Also for anyone that wanted a note. Flash mounted opening hatch. Really, really useful. And it is super hot, yes I am pretty damn sweaty. For those of you who are all asking, flush mounted hatches throughout. Spin the camera around, walk in wardrobe there. And then as I head back through, I want to take a quick whiz through the starboard side hull because there are things to show you there. And there's no steps here, so I've got to be a little bit careful. Okay, dokie. Right. Let us take a walk through into the aft cabin. So we find ourselves in the aft cabin. Apologies for this fan noise. A lot to show you. The cabin actually starting to go in here. There's actually a lot of storage in here and you can also now see the steps that I believe they put in place to enable you to step down into the engine bay without either touching the engine or needing to put your leg too far. 
But again, lots to see. The frames, the window frames for the heads are two-tone. Same for the shower tube, of course, again, two-tone. So the washing machine, the washer dryer is in place here. I'm gonna walk through here and show you this beauty. Now we are gonna do a whole episode on our workshop. We've spent so much time trying to get this workshop absolutely perfect and some of the designs aren't yet finished. So the workshop is gonna be a big reveal later down the line. But what we have here, the size of the starboard side guest cabin, all bonded in. I think you'll probably agree, a really, really big space. I will come back with a tape measure and show you all this. Lots of light coming in here, lots of space and those step up to get onto the, into the berth, like super easy. Another thing they've done is the mock, the mock-ups for the cabinetry that will be on this side. And that side is going to be, again, just storage, but then you've got uh, wastewater tanks there. So there is a lot of movement going in and I can really start to see how, you know, they are putting so much into getting this boat finished and on the water. So superb, superb, superb. I'm so excited and we're hull too. So we have to wait for this one to go in the water and have a good look at this one and then we will get on with Ruby Rose 2. So an amazing boat, lots going on on deck. Slowly by slowly the evolution of this boat is really really starting to kind of like be visible. And we can now see that there is protective matting down as so many workers are working on hull number one. Clutches in on those recessed areas both port and starboard sides and all round you can see the guardrails all that stainless steel work from midway all in place the guardrails all in place so you can get a really good look of what this is going to be and while we were there actually the trampolines are being dry fitted or test fitted so light grey nice looking just to match the to the hard top and the the tracks are going in as well so this is starting to look more and more like a sailboat as promised flush mounted hatches we had a real issue with non-flush mounted hatches so nice to see it and also lockable using that star shaped winch handle shape so again all good and again look at the size of these front opening hatches now obviously there are no windows in place but these are going in around now and in the subsequent episodes we're going to be able to show you these midships we've got a gate again super important for like liverboards when you're coming alongside to be able to open a gate and again something we definitely asked for so i hope you enjoyed that all the way from this carbon coach roof there is so much going on in this factory and it's really starting to evolve Lots to show you and lots more progress next week as they start to do finer fit outs, more to show you, more to actually see. And it's getting pretty damned exciting. Next season sailing is going to be champagne-like or beer-like. Who knows? Nonetheless, if you enjoyed that, give us a like, give us a thumbs up. I'll be back next week. You all take care of yourselves. Goodbye.